When I look back now, I was very, very evidently attracted to women, like my whole life. Um, I did not allow myself to know that about myself for a long time. I was raised fundamentalist evangelical. Both of my parents were homeschooled and then they homeschooled me and my siblings. Instead of getting to learn things like science and biology and the history of the world, a lot of it was learning Christian history and learning the Bible. And I really didn't get to hang out with other people until I was like 13 or 14 years old. My dad was an alcoholic and my mom had anger issues. I didn't see either of them as like the bad guys. They just never connected with each other. It wasn't until I was a young adult that I even started wrestling with my sexuality, much less accepting that I was not straight. It just wasn't even a conversation. You're either straight or you're lower than dirt. It was not okay. I didn't have any support around me. It's just keeping myself alive, my siblings alive, and trying to keep my parents from hurting each other. My mentor, Joy. I would not be here, much less who I am today, um, without her. We met when I started doing theater. It was totally normal for me to just have a meltdown probably every day. I would just go deal with it by myself. One day, I'm having a panic attack and she came and found me. She didn't like freak out. She didn't tell me I was doing something wrong. She didn't try to fix it. She just waited it out with me. Uh -huh. And was just there with me. And for me, that was a moment of like, you're different. <laughs> That feels like where my life really began. I've been really grateful to be with somebody who's willing to go through those transitions with me. Her continually showing up as an adult and proving that she is an adult and that she can also meet me at the same time. She, she's genuinely invested in me. My mentor was the first person that I came out to. I sat down and started crying and just said, I think I'm attracted to women. And she just goes, finally. <laughs> my best friend in high school. She's now my fiance. <laughs> my dad passed this year in February, and before he died, he got to meet her, which was really, really sweet. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my whole life. It's totally okay to be who you are. It's totally okay to just, to just be who you are. My name is Mari Gilgi, and I would not be who I am today without Joy Preston, who believed in me.